What if your mechanical keyboard was whisper quiet, ultra thin, connected to seven devices at once, and could literally double as a mouse? Meet the Niz L84, a low profile beast with capacitive contactless switches that might just change how you think about typing. Yo, what's good, Zeke here. You've probably seen your fair share of mechanical keyboards, but the Niz or NIZ L84 might be one of the most interesting ones I've tested this year. Today, we're diving into a keyboard that blends ultra thin design with a futuristic switch mechanism and more connectivity options than a flagship phone. Niz sent this over for review and I'm super excited to check it out, so let's break it down. First up, what's in the box? You get a USB-C to A power cable, a keycap puller, some extra keycaps, a spare capacitive switch, and a set of 45 gram springs if you want to customize the field just a bit more. And here's something I didn't even notice at first. There's a silicone dust cover pre-installed on the board. I actually typed on it for a second before realizing it was there and it feels kind of cool, honestly. I'll definitely keep it on when I'm AFK. It's a nice little touch for protection. Now, these aren't your standard mechanical switches. This board uses capacitive contactless switches, which are smooth, durable, and highly responsive. If you're wondering what a capacitive contactless switch is, well, I'll do my best to explain it here. A capacitive keyboard works on capacitance, an electrical current running through capacitors within the switch instead of mechanical switches for the key function. They don't physically trigger or even need to be fully pressed to actuate the keystroke. Instead of a mechanical action taking place, each key is built over a capacitive sensor. When a finger approaches or lightly touches the key, it changes the capacitance value, hence triggering the keyboard to register a keystroke. Regarding these specific capacitive switches in the Niz L84, the actuation force is just 30 grams of the whisper quiet 34 dB sound profile. That's practically silent, making it perfect for shared spaces in late night sessions. These switches are kind of like Tope Ray meets modern low profile design. They're snappy and soft at the same time. At just 19 millimeters thick, this board is ultra sleek Barely taller than most laptop keyboards, but it still feels solid and premium thanks to its double shot PVD keycaps that are built to last and stay clean looking over time. The keycaps have legends on the side as well for other functions like music transport, play pause, and volume adjustments. I can't forget that you got triple mode connectivity, which means you got 2.4G wireless, Bluetooth 5.2, and USB-C wired. And get this, you can connect up to seven devices and switch between them seamlessly. Perfect if you're bouncing between a Mac, a Windows machine, maybe a tablet, and even a smart TV. I don't even really know how I'm gonna get seven devices to test this out with, but that's pretty darn cool. This little mini display on the keyboard shows the system status, battery level, connection mode, and more. It's super handy if you're unplugged and mobile. Oh, and this part kind of blew my mind a little bit. This keyboard can double as a mouse. That means you can control your cursor straight from the keyboard. And now I know it's not for everyone, but it definitely is a wild trick to have up your sleeve. You can also see how to initiate the mouse functions right on the front facing legends. Now for gamers and fast typists, the board features a 35 gram force with a 0.8 millimeter trigger, an 8,000 hertz pulling rate, and a 0.125 millisecond response time. That's the kind of spec you would expect from like a gaming mouse, not a keyboard this quiet. Customization happens via the companion app. Macros, key mapping, profiles, it's all there. It's a more robust tool than I expected, especially for something this minimal. I really like this keyboard a lot. It's got a lot of character and charm from the height and colorway, and the typing feel is extremely comfortable. I haven't noticed any real cons during my testing of this board, and that's kind of that's kind of rare for me, especially with something featuring a new technology that I haven't tried before. That said, we should all have an understanding that the Switch technologies like these are more pricey than typical mechanical Switch PCBs and switches. Now, some of the pros of capacitive keyboards and switches are that the lifespan of these switches are much longer since there's no physical mechanisms touching each other which causes wear and tear. They're also really sensitive, which could be an advantage for faster typing as well as gaming. So who is the Niz L84 for? If you want a quiet, low profile, high performance keyboard that can travel with you, run across multiple systems, and feel premium without sounding loud, this is definitely worth a look. This board will be hitting Kickstarter soon and I'll be attaching a link as well as the company's website in the description below. Thanks for watching this far and let me know down in the comments if you're into these contactless switches. If you've ever used a Niz board before, let me know what your experience was. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more deep dives like this. Zeke Digital, signing out. Wait, that's not what I say. I meant to say, peace. <laughs>